Welcome to a code report solution video. In this video, we're going to be solving another leak code problem from the contest that happened yesterday on April 3rd, 2021. And we're going to solve it in my two favorite programming languages, Haskell and APL. So very simply, this problem is called truncate sentence, and you're given a sentence and an integer, and you want to return the first K int, uh, words from that sentence. So here we're given, hello, how are you contestant? And then given the number four, you just return the first four words. So hello, how are you? So if we hop over to our Haskell interpreter, here is how we would solve this in Haskell. So we start off with our string and there is a function or algorithm in Haskell called words, which given a string is just going to uh, return you a list of the words from that string. And all we have to do after this is take the first four, which we use an algorithm or function called take. And once we do that, we're going to get back a list of the first four words. And then we have a very nice convenience function called unwords, which basically does the opposite of words. It takes a list of words and converts it back into a space delimited string. So if we go unwords of this, we get our results. So we can turn this into a point free solution by calling this function solve and then replacing each of our dollar signs with the composition operator, which is just the period, and then get rid of this and we're done. So uh, technically in the editor or in the interpreter, you have to go let solve. And so then if we go solve and we pass it our string, we get our answer. So pretty awesome with just three algorithms composed together, we can solve this problem in Haskell. So now let's hop over to our ride editor and try and solve this similarly and then in APL and then see how we can uh, solve it in a slightly more idiomatic APL way. So here we are in ride our APL editor. If we can store this into a string, we have to use the single quotations in APL. So S is now our string. And the first thing we want to do is we want to separate this by spaces. This is for solving this in a uh, similar method that we did in Haskell. So there is a neat little trick where you can do a fork that has not equal to uh, partition and then same. And if we pass this and we have to turn boxing on, uh, we can basically uh, split our string up into a nested array of the words in that string. And the way this is working basically is we are first doing a not equal to on our spaces. And so this is going to give us once again a Boolean mask where all of the zeros correspond to spaces and the ones correspond, correspond to everything else. So the best way to visualize this once again is if we do our 0, comma, 0.5, and then we uh, pass it uh, the array that we just calculated. And sure enough, you can see here that anywhere that there's a 0, it corresponds to where there is a space. And now that we have that Boolean mask, we basically want to feed it to partition. So uh, if we take this and then use our partition algorithm, and then give it S on the side. We've seen this in previous videos. This is going to basically take every contiguous sequence of ones and uh, store those in a subarray, which is going to end up in our nested array. So once we have this, we want to do the same thing that we did in Haskell, where we take the first four. In APL, there is a take algorithm, which is just the up arrow. So this is going to take the first four. And now we want to do the equivalent of unwords, which I don't know a simple way to do this. Uh, the easiest way that I know is to basically do a reduction where we are catenating with a space in between. So alpha is our left argument, omega is our right argument, and then we're basically catenating with a space. And then this is going to give us a single sort of one element nested array. So in order to flatten this, we just want to use enlist. And then we basically have the same thing that we have in Haskell. Um, so this is this is okay. Uh, if we go to APL cart, and I think it might be pronounced apple cart, now that I've said that out loud, we can search for um, we can search for an idiom that joins based on a delimiter. So sure enough here, there is this idiom, which we can copy and paste. And assumably, if we replace this, with this and then put a space on this side, 
we should end up with the same thing. And then once again, we're just going to want to enlist this. So I'm not sure if this is more idiomatic or which is better, but whenever you have an expression like the following, this seems much too long uh, for an APL solution. So if you try to think about this in a slightly different way, uh, you can solve it in an entirely different way that is, I would think, more idiomatic to APL. So an alternative solution is to first identify where all the spaces are. And here we have ones corresponding to every place we have a space. And if we do a uh, plus scan, this is basically going to give us a running sum of the number of spaces that we've seen so far. And because we know we want to keep the first four, basically if we construct a Boolean mask for all of the values that are less than or equal to three here, we can use this and then compress or filter our original string uh, to basically only keep the first um, four words. And what this is going to look like basically is doing the same thing here and then going three uh, less than or equal to. And now we have our Boolean mask. And if we take this and use it as a mask on uh, our original string, so this is uh, when used in the binary case um, is called replicate or compress, which basically is going to repeat the number of elements that correspond to the position the number of times uh, that the value is there. So be when in the Boolean mask case, basically anything that's a, a one is kept and anything that is a zero is dropped. So if we do this, we end up with the same result. So this basically avoids having to split on the spaces and uh, rejoin with the spaces. It basically just figures out uh, where are the first four words and then does an quote unquote apply Boolean mask and you get your result. Um, so I think this is pretty cool. There's a couple different ways too. You could also, instead of doing a filter, you could just sum these values up to get the number of characters that you wanna keep and then you could do um, a uh, take on the original string, which would give you the same thing, but this is a little bit more verbose than the original solution. And I probably could call code golf the uh, previous solution down a tiny bit more if I wanted to, but I'm pretty happy with this as it is. So this is basically our solution, more idiomatic solution in APL, where we are making use of a uh, replicate or a compress, um, a plus scan, and then uh, just unary transform for each of the elements that are less than or equal to three. So as always, I just love APL and I also love Haskell. And hopefully this video highlights a little bit why, because you can solve things so beautifully in these languages. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something and have a great day.